Hey folks, Eddie from Brain Pulp TV, and I'm back with more Dead by Daylight. Now, the last time I played, I was still getting used to the game. I still am getting used to the game. I'm by no means an expert. However, one of the things I was struggling with before was skill checks. I have gotten slightly better, probably a, a little bit more than slightly better. I've gotten better with the skill checks. I still don't nail all of them, but it's a lot easier now than it was when I first started playing. The other thing as well, too, is I played Bill last time. I'm going to be playing Bill again this time, but the difference is he is now level 50. That doesn't mean that he's maxed out, he doesn't have all the perks or anything like that, and I even had some time to start leveling up uh, Claudette a little bit. However, we are going to be sticking with Bill this time, and his current loadout is this. We've got Unbreakable 3, Premonition 3, Bond 3, and Lightweight 3. Now, I've been considering changing Unbreakable to something else. Maybe Borrowed Time or something like that. There have been a few times where Unbreakable has saved the day. However, a lot of the times I'm not left on the ground long enough to heal myself anyways. So I have been considering getting rid of this one. However, for this playthrough, we're going to stick with this particular loadout. And we're not going to do any items again. I might throw a couple offerings there, but it'll just be to get more blood points or something. Let's jump into the games and see how we do. Actually, just a quick note before we start the games, in the first part of my Dead by Daylight series, I mentioned that I'm using a program I'm still getting used to, and the audio settings weren't quite where they should be, so that the game volume was a little bit lower than my speaking volume. However, that has been fixed. The thing is, I had the bitrate set for streaming when I recorded these, so the video quality is not completely awful, but... If you look at this example here, this is an example of something you're going to see in this video. I've since fixed the bitrate settings, and this is what it's going to look like in future videos. So it's going to be much crisper, much cleaner. So you can look forward to that in part three and beyond of Dead by Daylight. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get to the game right now. Okay, Bill, we got this. We're in Torment Creek. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I'm getting better at skill checks. But uh, one of the things that I'm still not very good at is running away from a killer and evading them and being able to do that um, that smooth transition to being able to look behind myself. Now, I know it's really just a matter of, you know, using S and then uh, the mouse button or the mouse directional. But it's the smooth transition into running backwards and then not immediately running into something. Uh, while I'm looking behind myself. That's where I sort of struggle with. I've been able to do a few, you know, 360 style sort of jukes, but, um, oh, is the killer coming? Don't hear the heartbeat yet, though. But yeah, I, I mean, I've still got a lot to learn. It's, uh, fuck, fuck, I was too busy paying attention to, uh, <laughs> something else. Uh, oh my god, this person is gonna hate me. This person's absolutely gonna be. I'm getting much better at doing skill checks, and then I blow a couple right off the bat. Um, we're still gonna be able to hopefully get. Okay, now I don't feel as bad. I don't feel as bad now. And and hopefully the killer starts heading over here, so that person gets sort of released from the hook. But um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it's. I'm still super new to the game, right? So it's not like I've. Uh, I'm expecting to master everything right away. But, um... Who's the killer? Shit, there it is. It's the, uh, it's the trapper. So, we're going to... Look behind ourselves. There we go, I can see him, I can see him, and... Shit, okay, wasn't able to avoid that. Still trying to time this right. Can I get through, can I get through, can I get through? There we go. Shit! Well, I was kind of hoping. Every time I immediately run through the window again, they've anticipated it. And I end up basically running right into them. The one time I decide to wait and see, and um, he ends up following me directly around the... Oh, damn it. Oh, it figures. It figures. Now, let's <laughs> see how, uh, how kind my fellow survivors are. Well, he's definitely not a camper. He basically set down a trap and immediately left, which is nice to see. So there is going to be ample opportunity for someone to save me. Uh, whether they do or not, I don't know. They're doing work on the generators, though. I can see someone else has already started working on another one. Uh, that person is working on one over there. No one has had any interest whatsoever in 
uh, coming to help me out. But uh, oh, it looks like it looks like I may have found a hero who will hopefully get to me before I hit struggle mode. There's no trap directly in front of me. There is one over there. So they seem to be running. So I think the killer is over there. So I wish this person would hurry up before I hit struggle mode. Are you kidding me, dude? Before I hit struggle, please. Before I hit struggle. Thank you so much. Oh, there's there's nothing worse than than getting nailed just before or just after you hit struggle mode. Okay, so is this guy gonna be able to help me? Is he gonna stop to heal me? Or are we being followed? Okay, good. We're gonna heal up, and then Young Buckets is the only one that's gonna be hurt so far. Okay, so Onyx Turtle, thank you. You are a scholar and a gentleman. I don't know if this person is actually running from the killer or um, or not, but we're gonna we're gonna sort of meet up and oh shit. It was in that direction. Yeah, let's go heal this person up first. We're two generators away. So let's let me help this help this kind fellow who helped me. And let's all three of us work on this generator. And not blow a skill check. Is this person running? I don't think so. They're I mean they're running, obviously. I don't know if they're running from the killer. I gotta check if there is a audio setting to just in yeah, the last thing I want to do is screw up a skill check at this point. Um, if there's a way to increase the audio of just the skill checks. Uh, okay, so he's coming up, guys. So we may, we all, we, we may all want to run. All right, we stunned the killer. Yes! Good job, me. But he is going to have a hard-on for me, I can guarantee you. gonna come around the other way no he's gonna go back towards that generator I mean we've almost got that generator done or did they finish it I didn't even get to see if they finished it yeah I'm gonna shadow him see if I can't okay so that that person shadowing them anyways so I don't know if we got this generator done yes we did okay so that generator's done so let's see while that's happening let's see if we can find another one and maybe get that one done I don't know where the other person is hopefully they're working on a Jenny um, there is one down here, so let's let's try to help this person out with the generator, and then we can get the hat or the hatch the door open, and then maybe I can finally get a recording of uh, a win. Okay, don't screw up skill checks. I hear the heartbeat. There he is. There. Uh, he's not doing anything. He's not. He's okay. He's he is staying after that person. Okay, so hopefully that person can can juke them without coming over here. Uh, there he is there. There he is there. There he is there. He's still looking. He's still looking. And go. I'm going to move over here. Because he's probably going to go for the exit. He's in that direction there. He's not following me. Let's run back to the exit. See if we can't open it. Don't hear the heartbeat. Okay, so let's open this up. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a W. We can get the big W. Onyx Turtle's hurt. But Onyx Turtle is a trooper. I'm sure of it. And, uh, I really want to get a win <laughs> on, on the recording here, so... Okay. So now we can always make it back. Let's see if I can see anyone. Can I see anyone? Are they going for the other exit? I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone. I have no idea where everyone is. There we go, buddy. Okay. Yeah, let's come here. Let's heal you up. Let's heal you up. Excellent. Okay, good. I get a bit of extra points. Ah, good. Okay, so we're all healed up. I don't know if the other ones are going for the other exit. Um, I haven't seen hide nor hair of them. I haven't seen the killer either. Okay, so they've all left. So, I'm gonna leave too now. No interest in trying to find the hatch or any sort of shenanigans like that. I just basically want to start this video off with a win. <laughs> this dude's injured. I guess he could try, but it's not gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna work. 
Oh, he's going for someone else. I wonder if this is gonna... Don't take me off the... What are you... You're basically killing me. You're basically killing me. Okay. Great. So, you've just essentially killed me here. Damn it. Yeah, so that was... Yeah, that was great. No, that's great. I'm glad you decided to still unhook me without borrowing time or anything. He's just going to stand in the locker and wait for me to die, because he sees the hatch right there. You know, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. I'm just going to keep hitting spacebar. And maybe he'll find you first. <laughs> I wish there was a way I could point to the killer at this point. Because, yeah, he's just, yeah, just going to wait. The killer is could be miles and miles away. No, I'm not going to let go, dude. I'm not going to let go. I'm going to spend a long time, and maybe he'll look in that damn locker. I hope the killer is patrolling the hatch. I really do. Yeah, he's just gonna stand there. He's not here. Oh, 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 yes! Yes! Okay. Good. Not to, like, you know, revel in the misfortune of others, but good for having that guy stand in that locker the entire time, just waiting to go into the hatch. Okay, here we are at Blood Lodge, continuing on with Bill and Ed learn Dead by Daylight. Uh, one thing I should mention, because I noticed this in editing, and I guarantee you it happened in the first game you would have seen, I will be... Oh, crap. Okay, he's directly in front. I will be midway through making a point, <laughs> and then I'll trail off because... Where are you? Sort of like that, and then I'll actually forget what I was talking about and uh, completely abandon what I was saying. So, uh, I'm guessing there's traps over here somewhere now. There are definitely some hag traps over here. Because the hag was here not too long ago, and that's usually a good indication that there are hag traps. So, yeah, I do apologize, because I can I realize that can be kind of annoying. I doubt I'm saying anything that's going to be sort of, like, earth-shattering. So, it's not like you're, you know, missing out on some sort of, like, crazy good wisdom. But, um, but yeah, if I do sort of trail off because I get spooked by the killer or some other shit happens, I do apologize for that. So, let's see if there's one by here. Is there... No, I didn't pop anything. Well, that's surprising. The other thing is, I record so many games, and you guys are only going to see probably two. So, uh, I prefer, obviously, to show games where I end up winning a game, which I think is great. And, um, okay, let's see if I can heal this guy. Heal you up. Here, heal you up. Heal you up. Uh, dude, let me heal you. You don't want... Okay, you don't want to be healed? That's fine with me. Are you kidding me? Let me heal... Oh. You've got to be shitting me. Come over here and I'll heal you. Are you kidding me, Steve? Steve. You're nuts. You're the one that's injured, not me. You're the one that's injured, not me. Um, I would have thought that Steve would want to be healed. I think I just did what exactly what I was talking about before there. I think I was in the middle of a point and then I completely abandoned it because I got distracted by Steve here. Now, I realize I did blow a, a skill check as well, too, but I blew a skill check because I was getting up to leave. This dude just did it all on his own. And maybe the killer sees Steve? Okay. So, Steve, you did that. This is on you. My death, Steve? This is this is on you. Also, it's hot as balls in my uh, office right now. So, um, you may hear the air conditioning in the background, which I realize is very shoddy as far as video protection goes okay so now that steve's gone let's get back to this generator steve can take care of himself i can't let's see if friend can you heal me are you no okay so i'm just gonna come over here and finish with this generator and then steve can can uh deal with the hag so let's see if uh after giving steve so much shit about blowing skill checks uh, I thought I was going to blow the first skill check that came along, but I didn't. I didn't. A little bit of trivia that no one needs to necessarily know is that Steve, one of the original members of Brain Pulp. The name of the... Not the Steve that I'm playing. I might be the Steve that I'm playing with. I don't think so. I don't think Steve plays Dead by Daylight on the PC. I think he's got a Mac, so... Um, there we go. Got the Jenny. And you're going to... Steve, you're going to bring her right over here? Yeah, you're going to bring her right over here. Okay, that's cool, Steve. Yeah, you just bring her right over here. Um, 
Yep. Okay, so she missed. She missed again, which is really great. I'm going to risk going through here, going up, and she's going to probably have a trap up here. No? She doesn't have a trap up here? Okay, well, I'm going to take this time and search a chest. Now, I would love to meet up with one of my teammates and get some healing. Okay, of course it would be a toolbox and not a med kit, which would have been useful for me right now. I don't see her. Thought I heard the heartbeat. Do I hear the heartbeat? Now, last time, I did something like this. Okay, so Steve's healed. So, good for Steve. Okay, so she's there. She doesn't see me. She doesn't see me? She's moving away. She's moving away. She's moving away. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get out of line of sight. Okay, she's making a trap. Dropping and dropping. She didn't see me. I'm sure she didn't see me. Right? She didn't see me? No, she didn't see me. Okay. So I'm going to go to my friend here, who's going to heal me, unless it's Steve, because Steve apparently doesn't care about healing. Are you shitting me? Is she too far away? She's too far away from the trap. Okay, good. She was too far away from the trap. Okay, so my friend is coming to heal. Oh, thank you, Dwight. Dwight, Earthbounder, you, my friend, are a scholar and a gentleman. I think she's coming. She is coming. You can finish this healing, don't worry. We got this. We got this. I don't see her. I do hear the heartbeat, though. Is she moving away? She's moving away. Oh, there's another generator over there, too. It's sort of out in the open, but I'm going to try to put more time into this one. Okay, so Dwight got halfway through this one. That was so close to being screwed up. Glad I didn't. Me and Dwight, we're going to make short work of this. No blown skill checks, even though that was close as well, too. Those ones that are right close to the beginning of the dial always trip me up. We're doing it. Dwight and Bill. BFF. Okay. Son of a bitch. Is she, is she close enough for that one? I don't think she's close enough. No, she's not close enough. Okay. Well, that's good. What was that sound? That was a nasty sound. That did not sound good at all. Oh, she... Is that... Did I see her over there? Or was that another survivor? I think that was another survivor. Oh, shit. She's... Oh, so she's chasing that guy. It's Steve! Steve! Did she lose Steve? How did she lose Steve? Was Steve still running? I don't hear her anymore, so I don't think she's around here. Okay, let's try to find another generator. Probably shouldn't be heading in the direction where I heard her heartbeat, but... I guess technically it was my heartbeat. But I need to complete another generator. I have faith in the rest of my team that they're working on another one right now, and it's going to pop any second. But uh, I would really like to help them out with doing one more. Steve, I don't think, wants to be healed. Fuck. Okay, did she actually show up for this one? Oh, okay, so she was too far away. Hey, Steve. She's in this direction. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Hide. Hide. Man, she has got a heart on for Steve. She's just got tunnel vision with that guy. Which is great, because now I can go and get that generator. I don't know how far along it is, but we'll find out. We're about to find out. It's not far along at all. Oh, great. Good job, Ed. I was trying to look out for Steve, but I couldn't see him, and then I completely missed the gen check. I wonder if she's going to come back here because of the sound. I don't see her. She, I, She's probably still chasing Steve. Steve's still hurt. 
Oh no. Okay, she finally got him. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna move over here where she can't see me. I'm not gonna be in direct line of sight. Um, the rest of the team is, I think, over there somewhere. Now, excellent. They got another generator. So hopefully we can finish off this one. And then, are we close to an exit? I don't think we're close. No, we're not close to an exit. Not within eye shot, anyways. Uh, she hasn't hooked Steve yet, though. Did she start chasing after someone else, or is she just gonna let him bleed? Oh, she took him down to the dungeon. I was too preoccupied looking at Steve in the dungeon, and I completely... I've got to turn up the volume on this. Um, at this point, she's got to be coming over here. She's a, she's a distance away, and she may be camping Steve. I mean, she'd be a fool to camp Steve after hearing this pop twice. Three times. Make that three times. Um, there we go. Nailed that one. I mean, if she does come over here, that's great, because I'm... I could just say, oh yeah, I was trying to get her to come over here. Okay, so someone freed Steve. Let's see how long Steve stays up for. She's over there. She is going to be coming towards me any second now. She's bashing shit. There we go. Okay, so I don't see her. There she is. There she is. She sees me. She sees me. She sees me. Yep, she sees me. He's gonna hit me at least once. Okay. I really hope one of you guys are working on the damn door. Um, door's over there. Door's over there. Have you finished the door? Tell me you finished the door. Okay, now yeah, you're just racking up points. So you finished the door. Steve left. Good thing, because Steve, you know, he was he was pretty hard pressed this game. I mean, he where where'd she go? Did she just give up? Did she just give up? You know, I don't I don't want to say this because in case it's not true. Um, I don't want to make it sound like I'm talking smack about the killer because God knows I've never tried being killer and I have no idea how how easy it is. Um, but I hope this wasn't like a farming session that I ended up inadvertently being part of because I, I sort of almost feel like that every any time I win that it, in order for me to win it must have been a farming session or, or something but uh, who knows because I certainly didn't do well with my skill checks there. I did go up a pip, which is great. Uh, everyone's saying good game, so we're just going to go say good game. And I gained a toolbox. Good job, me. So there you go, folks. That was Ed and Bill learn Dead by Daylight. I'm getting a little bit... I shouldn't say that, because after that last game and the skill checks I blew, I was going to say I'm getting better with skill checks. I, you have to admit, I did better in the first game. The second game, let's just say I was trying to distract the hag so that Steve could get away. I'm glad to see Steve got away in that game. Anyways... As you can see from my current rank and my blood points that I went through, obviously, a lot of games that you did not get to see. So that's basically how this ends up working out a lot of the time. I lost a lot. I actually won some of them as well, too. It's just that the ones that I won that you don't see are pretty dismal or else I, once again, inadvertently got thrust into like a farming session and the killer wasn't really trying. I don't know if that was the case this time or if it was just an inexperienced killer. I don't want to say anything bad about, I mean, I hate when people give people shit after they've already lost, because they probably feel bad enough that they ended up losing. They don't need someone piling on and, and like, you know, being a jerk about it as well, too. So I'm not trying to do that. I'm just not sure whether it was an inexperienced killer or the killer was just going really, really soft on the survivors. Regardless, though, Bill and I survived yet another trial. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please. If you have any advice for me that can help me out with playing Dead by Daylight. This is a game I like to stream as well too. So I'm, I'm playing it as often as I can. And I'm trying to learn more and more about the sort of like the, the subtle nuances of, of how to play and how to escape and stuff. And I am getting slowly better. But if you guys see something where like it's this is a glaring thing that I'm doing wrong consistently. Please let me know in the comment section below. I will not be offended if you guys have some advice for me when it comes to this game. As well too, you can also follow and contact Brain Pulp TV on Twitter. is at Brain Pulp TV. Or you can follow me directly on Twitter at Geek Tragedy. And now with all that said, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, doing everything you guys do to support Brain Pulp. It means a lot to me. May all your survivors make it through the trials, and I'll see you all again very soon.